real important you use our hands well, because good offensive linemen will get their hands inside and get a good hold of you. So we get a, a drill we call up grab, down grab, that'll help you separate. So in this, we're gonna do down grab with you, he's gonna up grab with him. So he's gonna put his hands on him, you're gonna do down grab, down grab, up grab, down grab, up grab, good. Now switch it, now you're gonna do up grab and you're gonna do down grab, okay? Go ahead, grab him, down grab, up grab. Every player that I've coached, pre-practice, that's what they do. And you say, okay, I do 10 of those a day, okay? After a week, you've done 50. After two weeks, you've done 100. After three weeks and you're playing your first league game, you've done 150 of them. So now you don't have to think when someone grabs you, okay, I do this. You're so in tune to bang, or bang, or bang. You're just, if you're gonna hit my hand with that stance, Without thinking about it, hit it hard. Thank you. Okay, hit my hand. Okay, hit my hand. Okay, hit my hand. Okay. So without me saying a word, what have you figured out about your stance? This is me, so I can set. Thank you, thank you. I don't worry about his stance. Because if his stance is all long and elongated, you can't deliver a blow here. So you force yourself into this kind of position. Okay, come on over. I'll do the steering with you. I'll do the steering with you. Do you see the steering wheel on my chest? No, I can't hold it. Well, what kind of steering wheel do you If you were buying, all right, you got a new Ferrari, okay? What color steering wheel does it have? What? Red? Ooh. Leather or? Ooh, red and nice. I like it. I like it. Well, good. There's the steering wheel. Okay, if I go there, what's your first move? It's going to be to here. Grab the top of the steering wheel. Okay, grab it, grab it. Go ahead, get hold of me. Okay, now grab the bottom of the steering wheel. Okay, now as I start to go, turn the steering wheel. Okay, now let's go back again. Set, go. Steering wheel, turn, turn. Nice, good. Okay, without, without, now let's see if you noticed what happened on that. You know coaches always saying, stay square to the line of scrimmage. When he turned to the steering wheel, what happened to his hips? He stayed square. He stayed square. So instead of me having to scream and raise all kinds of hell about staying square, if I go this way, grab the top of the steering wheel, grab the bottom and turn it. Now, if I try, good, good. Now here's one of the, the fallacies that a lot of coaches say. They say, if, I'm, if you got me here and I'm here, I got you reached. No, I don't. Because if the ball carrier goes there, you can turn me and release. There you go, right to the ball carrier. See it, get the, get the target, get the stop of the steering wheel. Set, go. There, good, and pass. Set, go. There, good conversion to pass. Good. One of the things I tell the guys is you don't have to be fast to be defensive line. You don't have to be fast. You have to be quick. Because a linebacker has got a thousand one, a thousand go. A DB has got a thousand one, a thousand two, a thousand go. You have got shit's happening right now. <laughs> you got to get on it right now. So, so it's really important that those hands and those hips and feet all all work together. All work together. Throw the lead hand. Sit. Go. Bang. Get it in there. Good. Nice. Nice. Here we go. Sit. Go. Throw it. Good. One thing he does really well, because he throws this so hard, his foot comes. And and I don't have to, I don't know if your coaches are always telling you, hey, you gotta step in with the same hand and say, yeah, bull. If you throw, if you throw that hand hard enough, I'll guarantee you this foot will come. Has to. Has to. Has to. Alright, here we go. Alright, let's go that way. Set, go! Very nice. That's you, guys, you can't do enough of this. This is foot alignment. My foot's on, on his foot, okay? I call this a split alignment, and I call this tracks. What I mean by tracks is, just like we had a set of railroad tracks that came back, okay, or head up. Head up, tracks, split, foot. Okay. Easy. Let your hands do your work. Here we go. Set, go, throw it! Thank you, good. All right, here we go, going that way. Grab the steering wheel. Said, go, grab it. Thank you. 
That was really good. Really, that's exact. So you know what? That's the imagery you've got to have. So you know, okay, that that, and that'll help you say, okay, here comes, here comes Anthony Munoz. Okay, there's the top of the through. <laughs> you know, just say there's the target. There's the target. You're, you're balanced. Now, as you get better and better, you're gonna learn to roll on the inside of your feet. It's easier to go. It's easier to go. Just that you'll learn little. And you may want to have a little stagger stance as long as you can do this. As long as you can get the steering wheel and turn it. I'll tell you a great story. We played a kid named Wayne Martin. First round draft choice from Arkansas. And we're playing the Dallas Cowboys. And I go a year. Wayne is a looper, what I call a looper. His hands go, and you'll see guys you're, you're playing with who love to do that. And good offensive linemen just go, put them to sleep. So you can coach your guys, get your hands inside. So Wayne never put his hand, we worked on the sled, we worked on one-on-one, -on -one. we worked individual, we worked individual, and couldn't do it. And Jim Mora, he can't do it! I can't, you know, we're going on one of his tirades. So anyway, we're playing the Dallas Cowboys, and I, okay, here's Emmett Smith. Okay, and he sees you right here, where's he going to run? No kidding. No kidding, okay? So I said, if you get your hands inside, you can handle him. So now as he starts to go, you're showing him here, you throw back and you make the tackle. Okay, so we're playing the Cowboys. This is Nate Newton, a slim 380, playing guard. So he comes like this, Emmett Smith goes inside, boom, he tackles him for a four year loss and he runs back and he says, Coach Pete, Coach Pete. You know, if you get your hands inside, it's really good. I said, Wayne, excellent. That's good coaching. <laughs> it only took him a year and a half to get it. But he he learned, finally learned, and it's it's you're gonna start being a little you almost, you know, every down you have to say, get your hands, get your hands, get your hands, get your hands, get your hands. But what'll happen is pretty soon, it's like it's like putting a dime in the bank. I'm telling you guys, wanna be good football players? Put a dime in the bank. I'm a little bit faster with my hands today than I was yesterday. That's a dime. I'm a little bit quicker coming off the ball. That's another dime. I'm gonna go smoke some pot and I'm gonna, you just lost all your money. And, and, and it's a shame because there's so many good players and they, and they, and they hurt themselves. When, and the way, you, the great ones, the great ones are there every day. Sam Mills, Tony Brackens, every day before practice, they go up and down the seven man sled just working on knee bend, knee bend. Okay. So we call, we talk about power footwork, power footwork. If you're going that way, go ahead, go. I've got a power step and come. In other words, all I want you to do coming to me is I want you to shuffle, power step there. It's a, boring. It's a ballet step. All right, do it. Okay, step, power step, good, good. You know what I tell our guys? See that, see that stairway down there? So as you step, you're gonna step downstairs, okay? Step, see it, you can see the, I can see the stairs. Yeah. Can you see the stairs, Coach? All right, here we go. Set, go. Step downstairs, nice, nice. Now, I haven't ever told you about get low or bend your knees or anything, have I? Because yeah. you've learned it, you're up next. Here you go. Set, go. Nice, nice. You're getting a natural, you're getting a natural dip in your leg. Perfect, absolutely perfect. Okay, pass rush, you ready? Okay, I'm gonna teach you, I'm gonna teach three basic pass rush moves. And there's the move and a counter off of it. Okay. Come on over here as a defensive end. You're rushing me, you're rushing against me. Okay, the object is to unbalance him. If an offensive lineman can get to right here and he's unbalanced, you lose. Good, one, good ones like the Anthony Munoz. Anthony Munoz, now this is where I tell you, Anthony Munoz never hurt a soul, but nobody ever made any plays because he was always in great balance and guys would come and you just, just work them. He was, he was awesome. Three ways to unbalance an offensive lineman. The, the golden key is if you can get an offensive lineman to do that, you got him. Because what you've done, you've unweighted him all on one side, okay? So everything you do is done waiting. It's done waiting. So now you've been moving on me and all of a sudden I get right here, yeah. Then you go to bull rush. 
now this is an interesting stat. In 19 years, the most efficient pass rush in the NFL, bull rush. Okay, you're gonna slap my arm down and rip up under and keep coming. Now, one thing about a rip stunt, when you rip somebody, what a good offensive lineman will do is you go by them, go on a, they are gonna to try to wrap you up this way. Don't give up on it. Because very often a rip will not come loose to you right at the quarterback's face. So be patient with it. Now, hey, well, now this is our down. These are third downs, guys. So all that parallel stuff I've been talking, no, oh, hell, all bets are off now. We're just racehorse stance. All right, here we go. Slap and rip. Set, go. Slap, rip. Good. Here we go. Set, go. Slap, rip. Good. Every, every rush has counter ability off of it. So now you're going to unweight me by countering. You're going to step here, slap and rip, coming back the other way. Set, go. There. Perfect. Really good. We got it. Okay. So you get the rip, counter, rip, swim, counter, swim. Those are good. Okay. Now, uh, you ready for this one? Okay. My very favorite. And the, you got to be a really good athlete to do this. This is a wheel, what we call a wheel technique. Okay. Variation. Now, all these rushes, find the one you can do best. Okay. And then say, okay, I get in the game and someone is blocking me where I can't make it. I mean, he's handling it. What's my answer? What's my answer? Perfect. Borel, if that's it, if he goes, okay, I've been using my quick stuff and it ain't buying it. All right, so, so we've talked about a couple of things I think that were important. First of all, about not having to really worry about your, your feet and your hips and staying square to the line of scrimmage because if you're using your hands right, and you know, the steering wheel is a great key, grabbing the top and bottom and make sure you throw it. And we didn't do it very hard here, but when I teach it in practice, I make them hurt each other. I mean, you know, not beat each other, but we're, we go, wham! We throw that lead hand. We throw that lead hand. So lead hand, second hand, turn the steering where you want to go, okay? And that will take you, whether you're playing two gap, if you can two, I mean, two gap is easiest. If you can do that, head up a guy, the rest of it is downhill and shady. If you get really good at it, you're gonna like getting your hands on those guys. Because you're gonna know how to handle their weight. You're gonna know how to handle their weight. People, you know, people, my wife, who is not a football person, she says, football's really a ballet. I said, what? She says, it is. She says, you're just dancing and throwing 300 pounders around. And you go, you know what? When you look at the reality of, of all the things you do balance-wise, that's, that's, not a, that's, that's a pretty fair evaluation. And the, and the ability to use your hands and do all those things with your feet is really huge. Okay, types of pass rushes we've taught. We're really only three. Well, four, excuse me. Bull rush, which is a move, we call it a move. Rip, counter rip, swim, and counter swim. Okay, wheel and counter wheel. And see, you can, all those things you can talk yourself through individually or, or grab one of your buddies. Because you all, you're all gonna have friends on the team. Yeah, I wanna, and, so when you get in a game, it's that playing in the backyard with, with the kids in the, in the neighborhood. Where Billy called Fred and Fred called Billy, they get the ball, okay, Mrs. Evans rose bushes are out of bounds. There's a mad dog, don't get it in there. You know, and that's the way we all, you know, that's the way you learn to play this game, all this. And you guys get to, I mean, you both, are, you have great strength, you have great quickness. And you know what? Here's the, here's the great thing about football. You don't have to be the quickest. You don't have to be the quickest. You don't have to be the strongest. Because God is giving you these kind of little gifts that you go, okay, this is this is what I do. He may be a great bull rusher. That may be, I mean, I, just from the little I've seen, you've got great power. You've got, you've got a little better quickness. But anyway, guys, thank you. Thank, thank you. you for coming up. And if there's a question, uh, you know what?